Hello everyone, this is Today with Todd coming to you from the highways of South Carolina. I'm traveling back today from Florida. Just wanted to come on and check in with you today and see how you're doing. I'm having a great day traveling back from my spiritual papa's house. I had a great weekend with him, just sitting and learning about the new season that we are entering into. You know, there's a new season in the earth. I'm gonna be talking to you tomorrow about the new season. Hey, Angel, good to see you. So tomorrow at our household of faith called Beyond Church in Lancaster, South Carolina, I'm gonna be talking to you about the new season. People are desperate for a roadmap in this new season. And we've come to learn this weekend a couple of things. One of the things I'm gonna to talk to you about is that God saw the earth was out of order. And I'm gonna get Chauncey over here. He's in the passenger seat with me. I'm gonna get him to demonstrate to you about this, all right? So, all right. God. God, this is the way Dr. Christ is playing yep. God saw the, the earth, earth was out of order. The earth was out of order. So he sowed his son into the earth that he might reap a family. That's right, let's do this again. God saw the earth was out of order and he sowed his son into the earth that he might reap a family. Now John 3.16 tells us this, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. That is the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But God didn't just come to save us from our sin. He came to redeem us to be sons and daughters in his family. And that is the message of this new season. It is the message of the sons. It is the message and the time and the season of the sons. You know, you're not just a servant. If you're in the kingdom of God, you're a son or daughter of the Most High. But there's something more in this season. It's about the maturing of those sons. So for too long, we've, we've played with church and played with religion, but it's time for us to grow up into him in all things. And in this season, God is giving fathers, he's giving spiritual fathers in order that they may raise up sons in the faith. So I just wanted to come to you today, encourage you. This is the day that the Lord has made and that we will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know what you've done with today, but I know this, tomorrow is a new day, and I hope that I'll see you tomorrow, join me tomorrow. Come see me, come see me and my wife and our household of faith, our spiritual family. We're not just a church, we are a spiritual family. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow at 110 East Gay Street in Lancaster, South Carolina at Beyond Church. If you, if you don't know where that's at, just Google it, look us up on Facebook, and I'll be talking to you soon. Headed home, almost there. I'll be glad to see my wife and family, and I'll be talking with you later. All right, have a good afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.